Hey guys, Doc here. I wanted to do a, another quick video for the Thinkorswim users out there that like to trade futures. Uh, this is a bar chart where you can actually uh, take a few different futures and compare them. Whenever I'm trading futures, I like to keep this type of chart up next to whatever chart that I'm looking at to trade whatever future I'm trading. That way you can kind of compare what the different futures are doing. I'm going to show you how to set this up just in case you want to take advantage of it. So what this is, this is a bar chart, obviously, that is comparing the S&P E-mini futures, which is represented here in green, the NASDAQ futures represented here in white, and the Dow futures represented here in this yellow gold color. What this does for you is, you know, let's say you want to trade futures for the day and you're taking a look at the NASDAQ and you see that it's, you know, maybe you think it's too far extended off of where the S&P and the Dow are trading. So maybe you want to go short the NASDAQ. Or maybe that day you see that the Dow is lagging too far behind uh, the S&P and the NASDAQ. So maybe you want to go long the Dow. Uh, pretty good, pretty nice thing to just uh, keep an eye on throughout the day. And this basically starts at the beginning of the day, depending on what chart time frame you're looking at. I'm looking at a one day, five minute here. So it'll start at that particular time frame and give you indication of what's going on throughout that day. So I wanted to show you guys how to set this up. So you might uh, couple it with whatever chart you're trading futures on. I'm going to delete these real quick. Okay, hit apply. So now we're back to just looking at E-mini uh, S&P 500 futures chart in a bar format are represented here in green. So you go up to your studies and then we're going to search here comparison. I want to click that, double click it once, double click it again because I want two comparisons. Go over to the gear wheel here and let's change this to NASDAQ. Click on it here and let's make that white. Hit OK. Let's go and change this one. Oh, I forgot to change it to a bar. Up here, I like to look at a bar. You can look at line, whatever you like. I like bar. And then let's change this other one. Let's change it to bar. And then let's look at the Dow futures. Click OK. Apply and OK. And there you go. Actually, I didn't change the color of that one. I like it to be yellow. So let me change that color real quick. Change this color to yellow. So there we go. That's pretty much exactly what I had set up before. So that's how you set it up. Uh, once again, this is just a really nice thing to have uh, next to another chart uh, when you're trading futures to kind of see, uh, you know, depending on what future that you're trading, where it is in relation to what other futures are doing. I uh, just wanted to point that out to you guys. I uh, hope that uh, helps your futures trading. And hope the video was helpful. If it was, uh, please do me a favor and like and subscribe to the channel. I would appreciate it very much. As always, happy trading, and we'll see you on the next vid.